So first we got a little slide down from the 12th fret. And then we're gonna go. So that's open in three, and then open one, two on the A string, down to the two on the D string. And we're gonna staccato that, we're gonna stop that note. Then we're gonna go back to this two, that B note in the A string, to the one on the D string, so. And that's two to open that time. Two, one, two, open. Then you got that first fret of the A string. You're gonna hold that for a second. Give it a little vibrato. Then we're gonna do a little thing. So that's open, we hold that open a little bit, and then we do a pull off with the one to zero, and then we're gonna go to that three over here. So it's. So we do like three of those, and then we hold that A string. Now our last little riff in this is gonna be. That's one to two on the A string, down to two on the D string. And your last thing is pull off this two to open down to that three on the big E string, the G note. So. Okay, so that's the main riff of the intro here. So let's try to do that together nice and slow. Three, four. Let's try a little faster. Three, four. Okay, so after you've done four of those, we're gonna, we're gonna go to this E power chord. So that's open on the big one and two and two. And that's a D power chord, so you got D string open. And the two and the three underneath it, you want to block the bottom string, so you just want to hear that power chord part of it. You can hit the A string kind of with it. A string kind of sounds good with a D power chord still, but up to you whether you want to just go. And then we got a quick little A string. So you could just do the seven, six, five there on the A string, or you could kind of have a preliminary note with the A open. So the whole thing goes. So that time we just hit one D power chord. We're gonna bend this three a little bit. And there we got O, one, two on the A string. To the E note, the second fret of the D string. So let's look at what we got in this new part. So that time I think it only hits the D twice and it does that same kind of walk down with this 765. Then we're going to end with. You do that with your pinky. Boom. Or you could do a double. Here. Make it bigger. He might be doing it like that. Okay, so let's look at the whole second part here from the E note, the E chord. Now that was the second, that's the second part of doing that kind of intro riff, that 
E minor pentatonic with the flat fifth kind of thing. So in the beginning of the song, we do that four times, and then we add that new part. All that. So after you've done that new part there, we go back to the original riff two times. So let's say this is the second of those two. Now we start a totally new thing. This is the Into the Void theme. So this slows way down. It was like 100 beats per minute for that first part. This goes down to like 72, I think. So it's like. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing the big string open and we're hammering on the fifth to the seventh on the A string. We're palm muting down here. So we get like the. So here'd be the note without palm mute. Here's a note with palm mute. So that's just where you put your palm down at the very end of the string, just so you can kind of control how much uh, kind of noise is coming out of there. You know, how much is muted and how much is the actual note. So here we go again on this new part into the void theme. Okay, so you're gonna go. You're gonna do two of these hammers. So it's daddy, bum 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 bum, daddy, bum 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 bum. And you just hit that fifth fret D note there, so. So that's a little half step bend up and down on the fifth fret E string, the A note there. So. Verse starts over that same type of thing, but he's gonna have a little bit of a different riff that it kind of goes with Ozzy's vocal part. So it's like. So that's that fifth fret note kind of bending, uh, going to bend up and down. four sets of that thing back and forth and then we're going to go so that part we're going to go back to the basic just fifth fret note with a little vibrato so we had that seven six five and seven six five again on the big string so you can kind of slide into that too a little vibrato here and there when you want and then we got that riff again so you see it just had that riff twice in there with a little riff in between it and it went back to its main riff so basically let's see we got uh let's do this last last one of the verse let's be like the fourth one Count that in and do that together for these last two. A little bit slower. A one, two, two, four.
then we got an E power chord, we're gonna hang out there, so we got that. We hold that for a little, then we come into this new double time feel riff. Okay, so that's O three O six five three O. So O three O six five three O. When you go to that last three there, do a little slight bend on it. So that's gonna go twelve times in a row. So let's say we already did four. Let's do eight of those. I'll count you in on it. Two, three, four. similar riff we're in a slightly different kind of time thing here but we got okay so that was that whole section there so it was 12 of those and then you got one more of these one more of these and then that part is done and we're back to do four of those to set up the next verse and let's get into the verse then so I'm gonna skip the last two of those to get in the next verse so we got point we're into a solo the solo he uses E minor pentatonic and what Tony Iommi does a lot is he gets into this E right here he does that in a lot of his solos where he does that you would the next note of the scale would be like the G note so you have to bend an extra half step so a step and a half and then he'll get into the pentatonic stuff up here. So look at all your different pentatonic. The first solo he stays kind of in this mid-range type of thing. He might get a couple of these. I think about that little flat fifth. Stuff. Then he'll jump up, like I say. So just mess around with that, and you can impro improvise your own solos. You can listen for tricks that he's doing and stuff. Now we're going to have an interlude after six bars of that solo. It's going to go. So that's seven, six, five, and then seven on the big string. So. And then kind of the same notes in the reverse order. So, so five, six, seven, five, So stuff like that. That's kind of the second one. So let's look at that new part we got. So that's bum, bum, bum on the E and then kind of slide from the two to the five and give a little bend up and up. Same thing to the eighth. Then the tenth. And the twelfth. 
then we have a few of these things. The guitar fill. Guitar fill. So that one is like. That kind of stuff. So Tony Iommi isms there. So check that out. Um, so once we get into that, after we've done those fills, we have uh, fills four times, and then we get back into another solo for six bars. And then after that solo gets rolling a little bit, we're gonna get back into this riff, and we're gonna be to the end of the song. So we got. songs over all right so the incredible tony iomi and black sabbath from masters of reality into the void probably my very favorite black sabbath song of all time um if anybody wants more info on the solo there's plenty of tabs on the internet you just got to kind of listen to it and keep working at it and try to get it just right if anybody wants me to i could do a little quick follow-up lesson and try to delve into that solo but for now i'm going to skip it all right have a great day y'all take care